The other thing I thought that was quite cool here that I saw sneaker wise to lighten the mood was these Nike kill shots actually. This is a random one because I remember these coming out when I think it might have been a few years ago. They didn't really do anything. They might have come out as well part of like a collaboration, but they bring them out again, which probably makes more sense nowadays because people are a little bit more um down to wear the more stripped down basic sort of like tennis shoe running shoe um nike style thing nowadays i guess maybe i don't know but i like the shoe in you regardless i think it looks pretty cool so this is from hype beast i've got it up on your screen if you can see it it says nike revives its og kill shot in three colorways so you've got here a, a basically white with a red swoosh but i'm gonna say it's a bit like it's an off-white sail colorway with a nice mesh upper which I, this is the bit i love about it the most right it's got that nice mud guard on the front and then for the most part the majority of the shoes made up of mesh which is pretty cool that's basically the old school breathable technology from back in the day just make it mesh and everything's okay and then you've got a lovely pine green colorway as well um the swoosh on the side it looks a little bit weird but i'm assuming it's just because the way they cut the material or maybe the last and then you've got this lovely colorway here as well which is with the blue swoosh um and then yeah so perfectly good collection of just you know nice colorways done in a very classic shape that i'm sure will be popular with the more let's say um, mature sneakerhead and this is the text it says um one-time performance tennis shoe that found an unlikely niche as a casual footwear thanks in large to the now bankrupt j crew oh yeah i remember true jake yeah do you remember when j crew did j crew or who's the other what was the other guy's name it wasn't j crew it was like an alan something there was a dude that used to do really good um new balance i'm not sure if there were collaborations or that he would just basically had the option to buy certain colorways from their catalog that were just you know that weren't very popular or maybe that weren't very because i think at the time when i used to buy sneakers new balance shoes they may they mostly done them in the kind of you know funky donkey ben and jerry's colorway that i showed you earlier they'd never it, it was wasn't really a big thing because just think about the crooked tongues nine new balances they were always really wild colorways that was what was in during that time and then over, of course over a period of time um people went back to the archives like the more og um color palettes and color blocking situations and then those who got re retro but i remember during that time of everyone wearing more sneaker looking new balances this shop in america i think it was alan something i forgot the name they used to stock really good selection of classic new balances like really nice colors uh color schemes usually no more than three or four colors on the upper like super og sort of stuff um and then i remember at the same time too j crew did something similar with some nikes too with the ldvs waffle racers they stock some really kind of basic um style shoes which again weren't popular back then because people were most likely wear you know stupid plimsolls from brick lane or whatever they may be of vans but um that was a really good era man like you know um stores having the ability to buy one or two pieces or like imagine if you owned good hood and you only went to stock like vans and new balance right? in terms of like um athletic sneakers or whatever they may be right that would be a really good way to go about things right you just hone in on those two brands and then you build up a relationship with a buying manager so that you can only so that they give you the ability to only have a certain selection in your store that accurately reflects the clothes that you buy in as well it's a great story to tell but instead that doesn't happen instead you know the same stuff you get at dover street you get a tresbian you get a good hood you get a fucking essence you get a mr porter the, you get the same shit there's no real difference in the kind of um photo offerings they have for some reason even though they you know the avatar the person or the average consumer that purchased from their sites you know they why they vary widely in terms of the interest what they're what they their buying habits their disposable income it just doesn't make any sense but again what do i know um so it's continuing to a once um one type performance tennis shoe that found unlikely niches of uh casual favorite thanks to large part now bankrupt j crew the nike kill shot line is known for its crisp look um slick style now it's back in its most true to original version yet the nike kill shot ogsp trading out the kill shot 2's upper mesh for uh, uppers for mesh and providing a slim slightly slow build the kosher ogsp is a return to roots and a nod to the bygone pre-nike court era of nike tennis footwear there was a time i think that was who was popularizing um tennis is it might have been alex olsen wasn't it right he was the one that was popularizing loads of 
old school tennis sort of like indoor soccer models because he wanted to get a Nike deal or basically, you know, he just liked the, the feel of the shoes on his board. I know some skaters prefer to have a really thin, you know, have as much feel to the board as possible. So not a lot of cushioning, uh, no amount of shock on the soles and stuff or unnecessary padding, just as thin as you can get. And there's no more thinner than getting a an, uh, an indoor soccer shoe and just tearing out the insole, you know? You're going to feel every nook and cranny of that board when you skate down the hill. Um, so there's three different colorways. Uh, the, these are going to come out when it says here. Uh, all three colors available. Nike, Lab, Kill Shorts, we are set to release via retailers like sneakers and stuff on May 22nd. Retail price is $90. Again, nice, good pricing. I would have preferred maybe to them to set around the $80 mark, but $90 for a shoe that you could easily wear, dress up or dress down depending what you're into it's not that bad of an idea to be honest so if you like them check them out